2020 has been a year marked by the coronavirus, a global pandemic that's really affecting all aspects of life. And as Minnesota pushes a stay-at-home order um, and continues that, I've been thinking about how we value labor and whose labor is valued and whose isn't and whose hasn't been and that now is. Um, so to explore this idea, I interviewed a few of my family, friends, and coworkers about being essential workers um, and what it's like to work through a pandemic. So when did the pandemic really start to feel real to you? Probably about mid March when it was like really starting to ramp up in the area, especially living with an older family member um, and working in the service industry that did start to stress me out just mid-March. Can you say a little bit more about that? So I live with my grandmother who's 76 years old um, and obviously I have bills to pay, student loans, things like that. Uh, we live in a college town so I can't not work um, and obviously being in the service industry you can't work from home uh, so it's just taking the necessary precautions, trying to make sure that everything in our house is clean, trying to make sure that I'm social distancing at work and at home. Um, just because if, I know if I get sick, I'll be okay, but I wouldn't want to bring that back into the house to potentially affect her. Well, I was on spring break in Miami when we got the email that all of our classes were going online. And I think that was kind of when I was like, oh, wow, this is... What's happening? Returning to work, and as you continue to work, how do you feel about that? Um, I, I don't know. I wasn't super concerned about, like, quarantining myself or anything because at that point, Florida was about in the same state as Minnesota. Um, it has been hard, though, because I obviously would love to, like, be able to see my family and, like, my friends, but I feel bad because I'm not really quarantined quarantining myself I'm going to work and so it's hard because I feel like I've always I've there's never been a point where I wasn't at risk of either infecting other people or becoming infected myself or anything like that how do you feel about the title and role of a central worker in this time we are like we out here making sure that the store is clean um we're putting items out on the shelf for people um you know, and it's it's weird because like I, I work cosmetics, I work style, I work tech. Um, maybe tech in the college town has been important. You know, in the last last month or two, as kids have needed to adjust to learning online. You know, those are maybe some more essential things. Um, so it is weird as I'm putting like mascara and uh, like swimsuits out on the floor, where it's like, oh, what am I doing here? <laughs> you know, or more people understood that the stockers are essential, making sure that the product is there and mm -hmm. that they have a, a means to get it. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of, you know, it kind of felt, kind of felt more important. Mm -hmm. You know, because I think, I think that part we take, especially stockers and stores, we take for granted because it's just, uh, it's, it's here, I can go get it. Mm -hmm. But they don't realize that it has to get from one place to the other to mm -hmm. be put on their shelves. How do you feel about hazard pay and extra money to work through this time? I don't feel any safer getting $2 more. It is nice um, that at least they're like somewhat acknowledging that like we are doing something for them by continuing to go to work. But it doesn't. It's It's just kind of like a consolation prize almost it's like oh yeah you showed up here's two more dollars like what we're getting is definitely a step forward but we should just natively be paying 15 dollars an hour and honestly i think hazard pay should be more i appreciate that they're at least trying to compensate us for our time but i think just our initial pay already is too does your store have any uh, protective equipment and other things that they're doing to make you feel safe or to keep you safe? And how do you feel about those? 
he just started wearing masks yesterday. Mm. Um, I think it's, which is, I hate masks, but I understand it's a necessity to keep the public safe and ourselves. Um, we want to, you know, I understand the need for masks. Mm. There was an evening that I took off um, because I, I thought my roommate ended up with a low-grade fever. Mm. Um, and I ended up having to call in and have that conversation. You know, we're going to hold out a few days because she gets really bad allergies, this hay fever type of allergy. Um, we're going to make sure that it's not that before we take any action. But even for the brief, uh, you know, even for that evening, knowing that if I need to take this time off, it is very nice knowing that I will be paid for that time that I need to take off. What are some things that shoppers should know before they go into a store? I think people need to understand that we are there because we, I mean, you don't have, you could take the time off or anything, but like we are there pretty much because we have to be. And I see so many people coming in and out that are shopping almost like leisurely, I would say. Um, they're not there because they have an essential need. And that's frustrating to me. Um, it's not the time to be doing that. I understand that people are at home and they're bored, but if that's the case, like go outside, go for a walk, stay six feet away from other people outside. There's no reason to be going into stores if you don't need to be there. Um, and I think people, especially our age, because you know, we're close to a college campus, so there's a lot of people who are college students coming in and out. I think they just feel like they're untouchable, and people need to realize that by going outside, you're putting us at risk, and we're trying to be there for that, but we are putting ourselves at risk every day when we go to work, and I think people um, should realize that and acknowledge it and appreciate it, and I hope, I think a lot of people right now are, and I hope that continues to happen, even after things kind of go back to normal. It feels disrespectful for people to not consider, at the very least, themselves, but, like, also the people who are working there. Like, we're here because we... We've been asked to be here in a time like this. It's, I, I, I think that maybe for a lot of people, especially if they are like financially comfortable, which is great for them. You know what I mean? Like that's like not to, not to just shit on people who like, that's, I'm glad, I'm glad that people are doing well in that way. Um, but like, it might be a little bit of a vacation for them that they don't have to really do anything, you know? And so I just want them to recognize that it's not a vacation for a lot of people. Question is, uh, what, what does the future look like for retail workers going forward? I am not expecting our wages to change natively anytime soon. I think that workers are going to really have to step up and demand better conditions for where they are. Um, so I think we're going to see a lot more people who are trying to take ownership of their workplace now um and you know if things don't change which i i don't think that they won't but like you know if something happens where they don't change like we will find a new normal and so that's that's okay thank you very much for all your thoughts and i hope that provides a little insight into what it looks like to work and feels like to work through a pandemic